As Kiev was bombed, Kona Nets and her mom took their luggage and headed to the train station where they saw a massive crowd. However, they were determined to leave, she asserted. I remember how Kiev was bombed. I remember everything. Mama took our luggage and we headed to the train station. We didn't know which direction to go. We just found a free space on the train and started to move. It was a huge crowd, but we needed to leave, she said. Hi, I'm Laramie. And this is Brody. And this is the Wild Casa Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Wild Casa Podcast. We bring you weird, interesting news stories, and we haven't read them ahead of time. We are riffing on them in real time. So you want to jump right into this one? Yes. Paralyzed Ukrainian model recalls fleeing from Kiev. My wheelchair broke. I was scared. Paralyzed Ukrainian model Oksana Kononets made a safe escape to the United States after Russia launched a full-fledged military offensive on Ukraine. Let's read on. Paralyzed Ukrainian model Oksana Kononets made a safe escape to the United States after Russia launched a full-fledged military offensive on Ukraine. During an interaction with Fox News, Kona Nets detailed how her wheelchair broke and she and her mother, um, I guess it sh- should say fled, from uh, uh, fleet from, from Kyiv amidst constant shelling and bombardments. She recalled being scared and tired throughout the journey while, making, while thinking about her home country. Um, as Kyiv was bombed, Kona Nets and her mom took their luggage and headed to the train station where they saw a massive crowd. However, they were determined to leave, she asserted. I remember how Kiev was bombed. I remember everything. Mama took our luggage and we headed to the train station. We didn't know which direction to go. We just found a free space on the train and started to move. It was a huge crowd, but we needed to leave, she said. Here's we- my question. Is Was she paralyzed as she was fleeing? Or was she already a paralyzed model? And... Also, how many paralyzed models are out there in the world? That's pretty unique, actually. Yeah, um, maybe there just weren't many jobs she could do. Um, I mean, if uh, you're going to be paralyzed, modeling seems like a pretty good option, actually, because you don't have to go anywhere. And I wonder, is she a hand model? Like, What kind of modeling can you do as a paralyzed person? I'm not even joking, I'm just... How yeah. does that work is what I'd want to know. This reminds me of, um, I don't know, do you, you ever see that show Psych? About that guy who's a, a fake um, uh, psychic and helped the police solve crimes? Uh, nope. But, uh, okay. Tell me. Keep going. Yeah. There was one episode where um, this guy, Gus, he was talking to some model and he was like, he, he was claiming he was a model too. And mm-hmm. he's like, you may remember, I'm a hand model. You may remember me from the insurance commercials. And he just puts his hands together. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got some answers for us. I went on her Instagram because everyone has Instagram. And she's got 4,513 followers. And she lists herself as the first Ukrainian Tetra model. And then after that, it shows an emoji of a wheelchair. And she's the Miss Beauty No Limits Ukraine 2016 winner. So I'm guessing the No Limits part is a reference to her oh. handicap. Her so she must have been handicapped before this. So I'm scrolling through. Yeah, she's in beauty contests, even in a wheelchair, which is good on her. Good, I support it. She's got some high fashion modeling stuff going on here with a dress that's a flowing peacock. Looks neat. What else does she have going on here? Yeah, she's doing it. So good for her. Yeah. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe we'll find out later in this article, but she's been in a wheelchair, it looks like, for a long time. Okay. So she's, hey, use what you got, right? Yeah, I mean, um, I kind of think of um, Ukraine's, one of their biggest exports is, like, you know, their, uh, what are they called? Those Russian brides, I guess Ukrainian brides, so. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. The Ukrainian model revealed it was hard to make it out for her as her wheelchair suddenly broke and they tried every possible way to fix it. She added, it was very hard to bring my wheelchair to the train. Um, One part broke, 
we tried to do everything we could do to fix it. And let's see, we tried to do everything we could do to fix it. We also didn't know where to stay. So um, should we stay in Ukraine, in Warsaw, or somewhere else in Europe? I was scared and, and very tired. We needed to be safe. After making a safe return to the U.S., Kona Nets continues to think of her friends who stayed behind to help as volunteers amid the Russia-Ukraine war. Now, I don't, I don't think they're volunteers. I mean, some of them are, but some of those people, they want to leave and they can't. Oh, they're conscripts. If you're a man, you can't leave. If you're yeah. between 18 and 60, 60, 60, 65 60. or something, yeah, you don't get to leave. So. Yeah. Man, I'd be yeah, pulling, keep going. I'd be pulling that Shania Twain. Man, I feel like a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Borrow a wig from somebody. Peace. Yeah. Do whatever yeah. it takes if you don't want to be there. Yeah. All right. Or a lot of them do want to fight, though, so. Okay. And, okay. And if you want to be there, then, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Throughout our journey, all we could think about was Ukraine and what was happening to my country, my people. My friends stayed to serve and protect Ukraine and help as volunteers. I think of them constantly, she concluded. As per the news outlet, a 29-year-old model injured her spine at the age, uh, at age 19 after an unfortunate fall from the fifth floor. Uh, Whoa. This leads me to that. I, 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 want, I have even more questions now. So do I. But keep going. Um, Read the last she, few sentences. She, she was left paralyzed and uses, and uses a wheelchair since 2012. During her escape, she uh, she onboarded a harrowing 11-hour-long journey on a train to Poland. From there, she and her mother reached Netherlands and eventually landed in Los Angeles on March 5th. So, what I wonder is, you know, who, you know, who's looking out for this lady that she's able to come to the U.S. Like that's exactly like, what I was like, about to say. She's I, I, got connections, which is great yeah, for her. But I think this girl got flewed out. That's what I think, and and uh, she. I'm listening. Okay, this is what I think. Look, you know, people are all in these in these chicks DMs, and like, even if you're paralyzed, like somebody's gonna like, you know, Some hey, I holler. Yes, yeah, somebody's gonna be into that, you know. Um, so you think she got a sponsor in I LA? Think, yeah, her out. Right, I think she's got a sponsor. I mean, maybe so. And if so, good for both of them, because now she doesn't have to be in a war zone, which. Would be really rough for anyone who's paralyzed. It'd be extra bad for you because you probably right. need extra help that you can't get anymore and physical therapy and stuff. Yeah. And maybe some lonely rich dude in L.A. now has a mail order bride. So they both win. There you go. Yeah. That's wild. But yeah. She's got all sorts of modeling and stuff going on. So shout out to you, Oksana Kononets and... Thank goodness for her mom. What a bonus for the mom. Like, you get to get out, too, it sounded like. Yeah. So the sponsor flew the mom out, too. Yeah, it's like, like she's probably like, we are a package deal. If you want me, you must take my, my, my mother, too. Probably so. So good negotiation by Oksana. Yes. Well, it's been another interesting story. You've got our take on it. Roll over that like button. Just roll over it forward and backward. And subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let us know. What do you think about this? What are your thoughts? Do you think she got flewed out? Would you fly someone out to rescue them? Let us know.